Hello and welcome to a new charter number 23, episode 5 of Azure Support Academy. In this video, we are going to talk about the error message about transport level error has occurred when receiving the results from the server or when the connection, the existing connection, was forcefully closed by the remote host, in this case, SQL, SQL Azure, or SQL Server. My name is Jose Manuel Jurado. I am a Scalation engineer in working in Microsoft and subject matter expert in this technology. Why does this, this issue happen? Well, basically it's when the connection is dropped okay, from SQL Server or we have a network issue during the execution of the query. How to fix this problem? Basically, it's try to reopen the connection again. And also the most important thing in this part is also retry the T-SQL common operation. So if you are running insert and it's not working, roll back the transaction if it could be possible, reopen the connection and run again. Well, uh, and right now we are going to demonstrate uh, what happened and uh, one uh, the, the issue that we have uh, about the transport error. Basically, the recommendations, uh, as, as we mentioned before, is to retry the operations. Okay, so for the reason, uh, I used to uh, I used to uh, work with two, uh, with two uh, functions. The first functions is run the, the, the operations. If we have any error, I'm going to retry the operations. And also, as uh, in this case, the connection will be dropped. The idea is uh, to run another retry, uh, retry logic function uh, that basically, uh, if the connection is open, they are not going to do anything. But if the, uh, the connection state is closed, I'm going to do the same operations that I use in, in the retry logic uh, operation. This try to open the connection. In the, I'm not able to uh, retry the connection, waiting for seconds uh, after after it, and that's all. So I'm going to uh, run the application again. take us some time okay okay so let's try to run an application the application is running as you can see right now we have the connections right now is running a record set that is showing the around uh, every 200 uh, rows we have some data about uh, about uh, about the, the the data that we are querying to database the connection is fine uh, we have just only one retry. The, uh, the execution is, is this, is running this query. So it seems that it's working fine, no issues, etc. So right now I'm going to, um, to close the connection in this way. And as you can see here, we have a new error. The error is a transport level error has occurred. So because I I close the connection from the server um, to, uh, to the application. In this case, uh, SQL, uh, the, the idea is to retry the operation, let's say to reopen the connection again because the connection has been closed and uh, continue working in, in this way. In the similar manner, if I have the same situation again, basically it's, uh, it's uh, uh, to open the connection again. So if you want to reproduce the issue, for example, uh, in terms of uh, SQL Server, well, basically, uh, the idea is to, to run uh, this query. As you can see, the session is uh, 71. Basically, it's run a kill command against this session. And 
as you could see, you have the same error, right? So basically, it's when SQL Server uh, uh, closed the connection or you have any problem in terms of networking. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for attending these sessions. If you have any questions, please send an email to gmjurado at microsoft.com.